Rev. Jennifer Hotelling graduated from Rama Bible Training Center located in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1999. She has been actively serving the Lord in ministry the last eight years. The past four years, Jennifer, along with her husband Clayton, have been full-time youth ministers at Faith's Creation Christian Fellowship International, located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Jennifer's focus on both the Word and the power of God has a dynamic effect not only on the youth, but also on the adult congregation, as she allows the Holy Spirit to minister through her while the senior pastor of Faith's Creation is traveling the nations. The gates of hell shall not prevail against you. We are overcomers. We are victorious. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against me. God is a big God. God is our God. God is the King of kings. God is the Lord of lords. Who is this King of glory, the Lord mighty in battle? This Lord strong and mighty. Well, he's my God. And my God will never leave me. My God will never forsake me. And he is right here beside me. And nothing the devil tries to bring across my path can overcome me because my God is a big God. It's spending time with our first love that we get more of Him. It's spending time in fellowship with Him that we obtain more of Him and more of His powers. And in that fellowship is where the manifestation of God begins in you. He created us to manifest His power, to manifest in His glory, so that we could proclaim the gospel and have confirmed the word with signs following. This is for each and every person. And the Holy Spirit says, don't rule yourself out. You too were created for this purpose. For this purpose, you were created to be manifest. That you might destroy the works of the devil. That you would go forth and proclaim the gospel with my power, with my authority. Do not rule yourself out. I desire you to go forth. I desire you to be made manifest. I desire Here to we are, fill you. Waiting for him and waiting for the rapture and waiting for all these supernatural things to happen. But he is waiting on us to spend time with him, to spend time in his presence, to obtain more of him so that he can make himself manifest through you. He was to be the start, the example of which all of us were to follow in. Where we could accomplish way more than one could ever. He gave up his son so that all of us could go forth and proclaim the gospel. All of us could be manifest and fulfill his work. But he had to first send his son to be the perfect example for us. The image of God. We need to have an expectancy that God's going to actually completely fill us, that God's going to actually immerse us and baptize us by his Holy Spirit. We need to have an expectancy that when we go to pray, when we go to ask, we will receive that which we ask. We need to have an expectancy that those things that we hope for will come to pass. And we have, no, we have no reason to doubt whatsoever because God said his word will not return to him void. The Israelites, after seeing miracle after miracle, after sign after sign, hardened their hearts and were unable to enter into the promised land that God had for them because they didn't have faith. They may have up until a certain point, but then, whoa, it must have got too weird for them. Or, 
They got totally distracted with the cares and things of this world that their focus totally got off God and how he's a supernatural God and is more than willing and more than able to bring them to that final step into that promise. Wait in eager expectation for the promises of God to be fulfilled. Wait in eager expectation for the outpouring of the latter rain. Wait in eager expectation for God to pour out his spirit upon each and every one of us. Wait in eager expectation for signs, for wonders, for miracles. Wait in eager expectation for dreams from God, for visions from God, because these are the things that he'll begin to do to profit your life and to push you forward and further than you could ever go on your own if you will wait in eager expectation. Because when people waited and had faith in God in eager expectation, that is when God was moved, and that's when his word was fulfilled in the lives of these men and women of God. Think about the Lord, how He saved me, how He raised me, how He filled me with the Holy Ghost, how He healed me to the uttermost. When I think about the Lord, how He picked me up and turned me around, how He placed my feet. When I think about the Lord, how He saved me, how He raised me, how He filled me with the Holy Ghost, how He healed me to the uttermost. When I think about the Lord, how He picked me up. If you would like more information about the ministry of Rev. Jennifer Hotelling, or would like to schedule her to speak at your church, conference, or youth rally, please call us at 414-461-8770 or 414-467-4484. You may also email us at utiyouth at gmail.com. Please feel free to visit us on the web at www.faithscreation.org.